The dairy farming industry of China is rapidly developing and is the most active with the animal husbandry. By the end of 2012, the number of dairy cattle was 14.5 million, and the milk output was 37.44 million tons. More than 65% of dairy cattle were kept by smallholder farmers. A smallholder farmer uses few dairy farming technologies, and the labor efficiency, raw milk quality, and the yield per cow are relatively low. In order to help the smallholder farmers to improve their production level, a questionnaire was designed to investigate smallholder farmers from three northern regions in China. And the number of dairy cattle in these three regions accounts for 82.3 percent of the total across China. Through investigation, we found out that most of the smallholder farmers use corn silver as the major forage source for dairy cattle. China is rich in silver resource. The annual production of corn silver is more than 200 million tons, but the nutritive value of it is very low. The poor quality of forage is a major factor limiting the performance of the dairy cattle. More than 90% of the interviewees said they had been badly in need of economical, simple, and effective treatment methods to improve the nutritive value of corn silver. We collect more than 30 silver samples from six major maize-producing provinces and determined the chemical composition and the raw degradability of them. Results showed that corn silver is mainly composed of hemicellulose, a cellulose, and a lignin. The lignin present in corn silver is interspersed with hemicellulose, forming a matrix surrounding the elderly cellulose's microfibril, decreasing their digestibility. Studies showed that calcium oxide treatment can solubilize the hemicellulose in silver, break down the lignin structure, and disrupt the crystalline structure of cellulose, thereby improving the digestibility of corn silver by ruminants. However, researchers found that CaO-treated silver became moldy over time. In fact, storing CaO-treated silver in an anaerobic condition is an effective way to prevent mildew. Then, a study was designed to investigate the optimum CaO level and moisture for corn silver treatment. We found that 5% CaO applied at 50% to 60% moisture could be the optimum treatment condition. And under this treatment condition, the rumen degradability of corn silver was improved effectively. We collected 30 metric ton air dried corn silver in Hunan Province, and the silver was ground through a one minute screen using a silver grinder, wetted to 50% moisture and mixed with 5% CaO. The treated silver was unloaded and compacted into a bunker. After lab testing, a research was conducted to investigate the effect of feeding CaO treated and anaerobically stored corn silver on the performance of dairy cattle. Results from this study show that CaO treated silver combined with DDGS could be a pretty balanced and economical ration for mid to late dairy cattle. A portion of corn silage, Chinese wheatgrain, or corn grain could be replaced without decreasing the performance of dairy cattle. Besides, the feed cost was decreased significantly for the growth sped with the diets contained treated silver. Now, this technology has attracted the interest of many smallholder dairy farmers because this treatment is simple and effective. It doesn't need expensive equipment. The treated silver can improve the performance of dairy cattle, so the smallholder farmers has the chance to make more money and do not need to worry about the forage shortage. Some dairy trials are being conducted in Shanxi and Liaoning province. In the future, we will train smallholder dairy farmers with the help of China dairy industry and the technology system to promote the utilization of this treating method.